Paleoclimatology is the study of past climates, which can be used to contextualize the rate and magnitude of current anthropogenic climate change. On this plot, you can see temperature-based records from meteorological stations in purple, which extend to the late 1800s. This data has been expanded for multiple centuries using proxy-based temperature records shown in gray. From this, you can see that while recent global warming has been very extreme, compared to the last 1500 years, the climate has not been stable. Rather, the Earth has undergone a few oscillations, including the medieval warm period, which was a time of anomalously warm temperatures in the North Atlantic region between 950 and 1250 AD. A couple centuries later, this was followed by a little ice age around 1650, which extended to around 1850. And during this little ice age, many areas in the Northern hemisphere, particularly in Europe, experienced unseasonably cold winters and some increased storms and precipitation. Now we can go even deeper in time using other climate records, including ice cores as shown here. With Antarctica del 18O, which represents temperature in green, and Greenland del 18O in blue, both spanning here approximately 10,000 to 15,000 years before present during the end of the last glaciation. Using this data, scientists have confirmed that the warming into the current Holocene was inundated with climate oscillations and cooling events spanning thousands of years. Many of these are due to changes in ocean circulation via AMOC due to feedback loops associated with land ice melt. From this and other paleoclimate data, it's quite clear that the Earth has undergone significant variations in climate, which demonstrates the importance of reconstructing it in order to put current changes into perspective. <laughs>